Bonjour, bonjour Shopify world. In this video, we're finally gonna attack the subject of personalization and we're gonna personalize your store. My name is Andrew from ecomexperts.io and I partnered up with Derek from ecommercetech.io in order to give you this app review from DataQ. Okay, so if you're like, what, what's DataQ? How is that gonna make me more money? Well, let me read it for you. DataQ created a recommendation engine that personalizes your website for all of your customers based on the actions they've taken on your site. We don't just mean product recommendation, but actually adjust what the homepage looks like, what to display as the customers scrolls and what based on what they show interest in. That was actually quite clear. But in this app review, I hope it to make it even more clear for you. And you're gonna learn a couple of new things about the history of e-commerce and this and that. Anyway, we're gonna say like, what does DataQ really solve as an issue? Who their competitors are, what their pricing is, how their app works, if it's a good fit for you, what their reviews are, and if I would personally install it. So let me know what type of apps you should review or what you wanna learn from Shopify as a general, because I'm trying to transfer all the Shopify I have as a Shopify expert, all the Shopify I have, all the Shopify knowledge I have as a five-year-old expert, this is not working well, is it? Long story short, I'm sharing everything I know about Shopify to my subscribers, so make sure to subscribe. Anyway, let's start. Okay, DataQ, what does it solve? So this is a pretty interesting premises that's been around for a while in e -com. So basically what they do is they try to increase your conversion rate by a lot. And the way they do this is by using a pretty interesting premises that has been around in the e-commerce world for quite some time. The concept that not every website should look the same for every visitor. Hear me out. Let's say you are visiting a website with a kitchen and a bedroom decor section. You click on the bedroom decor section and you browse around and you really like it. Well, now you're gonna go back to the homepage and what are you gonna see? Ta-da! The website is going to be mostly bedroom decor information and images. And that's because the website has understood that you are interested in bedroom decoration. And so it only makes sense to show you more bedroom decorations and less kitchen decorations. Now I admit the bedroom kitchen decor analogy might not be the best one, but let's think about kids wear and men's wear. I mean, if you click a lot on the men's wear, maybe you're not that interesting in the kids wear and so if you go back to the homepage, it makes more sense to show you more menswear pictures and just having some kids wear pictures on the side. Long story short, DataQ basically customizes your homepage and your website based on the visitor's history on your site. And in theory, that should increase your conversion rate. Right? Anyway, this is pretty cool because this is a concept that has been tried a lot, that a lot of people have not quite nailed it. And I do think DataQ came up with some very solid ideas and implementation to really nail this and increase your conversion rate. Just FYI, I talked about the importance of not showing the same website to every visitors in my video on a strategy that I do every Wednesday, Shopify strategy to make you more money. And we talk about the importance of a wireframe and we explain what a wireframe is. If you haven't checked it out, you definitely want to go check and take a look. So, okay, now we know that DataQ adapts your site based on the visitor's preferences, but they do a couple of other cool little nifty things. For example, they have this really cool notification feature. It's like a little bell icon that they install. And let's say you look at some shoes on a website and then you leave. And now that you've come back, those shoes are discounted, but you don't know that yet. Except for that little notification bell that they have put on your site that you click on and then you see, hey, by the way, the shoes that you've looked at last time, they're back into stock or there's a discount on that right now. You can see that in action right here. And while this is not the main feature of DataQ, I definitely think this is a very interesting feature that's pretty curious and for sure is gonna up your conversion rate. Okay, so how does DataQ actually work for you as a customer? Well, pretty simple. First of all, you gotta install the app. Since this is an app review, this should not come as a huge surprise to you, now does it? Once you install that app, the concept of DataQ is that they work on the homepage with a series of banners. I'll overlay the banners right here, but the selected banners are the banners that are going to change depending on your clients or your visitors 
preferences or scrolling habit or website habit. The other banners stay the same as they should stay. Now this is really smart because if you change everything, then the visitor might lose their points of references and might think they're on a different website or a different page. But by keeping some elements the same, they click. And so setting this app up is pretty much a question of dragging and dropping, if you may, or customizing these little banners in the feature on the back end of the app and is pretty much as straightforward as it gets. Okay, when we talk about any competitors that these guys have, well, there is a couple of them. Now, it's not all of them that focus on the homepage in the same way that DataQ does. So DataQ really focuses on the homepage and also has the recommended product section. If we look at the recommended product section, I'm gonna take my cheat sheet over here. Uh, you also have a line Spot. So LimeSpot is the classic app if you want to be like, you might also be interested in this. Now, if your name is Kylie Jenner and you're one of the big dogs of Shopify, first of all, hi Kylie, why are you not subscribed yet? You might be like, well, I use Nosto. And it's true, Nosto is more of an enterprise level competitor where you can really change all of the content and images and basically your entire site with this habit. But it comes with a price tag as well. But in case those two aren't really the solution you're looking for, you might also want to check out and here is my cheat sheet again, Retail Rocket, Enal, Enalito, Epica, and Mine What. So one of the curious things to notice about the data queue is that you don't really need an opt-in or you don't need to be like, yes, I agree, let me know when things are back in stock or track me this or that. No, it just does it naturally based on cookies. So there isn't really anything that your customer needs to sign up or sign into, which I believe is a pretty big advantage over some of their competitors. So let's talk about integration because it is important that you play nicely with the other apps in the ecosystem. And here the integration integration list isn't that spectacular. They basically do Mage, I believe it's called, and some other currency apps. On the other hand, what else would I like as uh, integrations? I'm not too sure on the top of my head. Let me know below in the comments. Okay, so before we talk about whether or not you should install this app, let's talk about Pricing. So their pricing goes all the way from $10 to $300 a month. And then it's going to kind of depend on how many homepage templates you want. See the $10 a month plan gives you five dynamic banners that you can put on your uh, website and that can change based on the customer's interaction. The uh, $300 a month gives you a hundred dynamic banner. So it depends where you want to put these banners, mostly on your homepage, I'm assuming, but also how much you need, how many different type of buying personas. Yes, I said buying persona. Check out my strategy video about buying persona and why you really, really, really need one please have one, it's gonna make you more money. And just in general, how specifically personalized you want your website to be. I mean, you can even push this further. I can, I'm imagining people that are landing from a Facebook ad where you talk about a very particular specific conversation, they're landing on a very particular landing page on your website. And based on that, your entire website is going to be tailored through this app, through that conversation point that you got them in which is again really interesting because it allows you to target different buying personas and give them a really tailor-made experience, which is in theory what e-commerce is all about. So before we continue, I'm going to overlay the reviews right here with all the different little stars and how good of an editor is my team? Like, can I take one of these stars right here and just like swindle with it? All right, so should you install DataQ? Well, it's a pretty big question. The good news is it's very affordable. So $10 for five banners, that's really interesting. The other point is that, like I said, this has been a theory that has been pushed around in the e-commerce world for pretty much forever. In theory, because we have so much data about your customer, you can personalize your store at a way higher level than you could with, for example, a brick and mortar store. And these type of apps are a God gift for this application. Now, I have to admit that in practice, I haven't seen an enormous amount of people actually implementing this in real life. I'm not sure if this is because of the A-B testing phenomena that I like to call where everyone knows they should be A-B testing, where A-B testing really works, but where just most people are too lazy to actually implement a B testing or if this is more because 
these type of personalization actually hinder conversion rates more than they benefit. In the sense that if I came to your website and I clicked on a certain section just because it entertained me, now the entire website is tailored to that section. Hmm. However, I do believe that DataQ figured out a brilliant way around this by not tailoring the entire website, but just specific banners. And this is where I actually finally see someone really making a good job out of this. So if you're a new store owner and you just started this, this isn't the app for you. Now, if you're already up and running, making five, 10 or more thousands of dollars every month, then I would definitely consider it, especially if you have a specific product that is tailored to very different audiences. I'm gonna take a very stereotypical, not politically correct example here, but I used to have a shoe company and I knew that the stereotypical gay community uh, was very interested in my shoes because they typically tend to dress a bit better. But for some reason, I found that very manly African-American community was also very interested, especially in some trending rapper, circles which is funny because if you would really put the two communities next to each other or probably in the same room some individuals of either of those communities might not necessarily see eye to eye so having one website that caters to both of them is kind of difficult but data queue could have solved that by just making the website personalized depending on what type of ad or landing page my visitor would have came in they would have seen a slightly different website than their counterpart that would have come in from a very different campaign with a very different type of ad so if you're in that type of business that really offers two rather different buying personas as target market or maybe three or four or multiple then i definitely think data queue is something that you should install right now. If all of your buying personas or customers are kind of the same type of people, then I don't necessarily think this is the right app for you. But again, for the cost of it, why not try it out on a backup version, run it for a month or two, see if your conversion rate increases and decide from there. I mean, seriously, especially with the notification bell, this just that feature could make you a lot of money. All right, that was it for me. I hope you enjoyed this app review. I hope you got some information out of it. Make sure to check out DataQ. Make sure to like and subscribe because only 6% of the people watching this are subscribed and it hurts my heart. And if you can do me one more favor is check out another one of my videos. I'm trying to get the people that watch one video, try to watch another video as well. Um, just at any one, I made 100 videos literally about Shopify. I'm sure you can learn something in my strategy videos or in my coding videos. It would mean the world to me. My name is Andrew from ecomexperts.io and I'll see you in another one. Ciao.